You got to be willing to work hard, alert, uh, like getting dirty. I love getting dirty. <laughs> Sand hogs are the laborers who have built New York City from the ground down. Good pay, good guys, I guess you could say. A lot of characters down there. You may not have seen them, but you see their work every day in the Brooklyn Bridge, the site where they got their name, and in all the city tunnels. You don't really get a lot of people that don't work here that's been down there, so they really don't have any idea what it's like down there. It's hard, dirty work, but rewarding, they say, and the kind that forms tight bonds. We watch out for each other a lot. It's also work that stays in the family. The union is pretty much family. A lot of people there had their father working here when they were younger. A lot of these guys here that I'm working with now work with my dad. My father started doing it the year I was born. And uh, which was 1950, and I got out of the service in 72. I worked at the Sandhog a little bit before that, but when I got out of the service, I was looking for a job. My father did it for probably 35 years himself, and my grandfather actually worked in it too. Most of the guys that stick this out are usually sons of Sandhogs for the most part, so it's kind of generation to generation. Many have been on the job for decades, but memories of those first trips underground are strong. I didn't know what to expect. Uh, you can't explain it to anybody who's not in the business. The first day I came in, uh, I didn't like it at all. It was a little scary. They were shooting and everything like that, and I was only 18. And I, I wanted to go back to school, but never did. We were using air-operated air drills, and I was uh, the cool kid and didn't put earplugs in, and then I was working graveyard. The next morning, I was stone deaf for about a day before my hearing came back. The job can also be dangerous. 24 sandhogs have died building water tunnel number three. Accidents are a risk and also silicosis, a dust-related lung disease. You spend 20, 30 years in this business, you're going to get it. And we try to cut down the dust as much as possible, but that's, you know, almost impossible. Sure, you worry about your health, but you can't uh, worry about it all the time when you're down there. You just got to do your job.